Kia ora. Sorry, is there only one Kiwi in the place? Let, let's try that again. Kia ora. Oh, that's better. Ladies and gentlemen, do you recognize this guy? You do. That's great, because I can tell you Stacy didn't work out who he was, but we won't hold that against her. This is, of course, Gordon Ramsay. He is a Michelin award-winning chef and a TV personality, and he's really interesting because he's got lots of interesting habits. Now, I don't want to talk about Gordon Ramsay. I want to talk about habits. And habits are settled and regular tendencies or practices especially ones that are really hard to give up. And just like Gordon, we've all got habits. So I think we should have a look at a couple of them. Here's the first one that most of us have. Can you please take your arms, please, and cross them? Oh, hang on, there's a couple of people still not doing this. Okay, look down at your hands. Which hand's going over the top? Is it left over right or is it right over left? What I want you to do is swap them over like that now. How many people are now going... Oh, 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 that doesn't feel good. Because this is a habit, and it's really uncomfortable when we break it. Here's another one for us. Can you take your hands out like this, please? Bring your hands together. Weave the fingers. Have a look down at your hands. What thumb's going over which? And now reverse that. Oh, that feels even worse, doesn't it? That really doesn't feel good. And in fact, if I get you to hold your hands out there for a wee while longer, you'd have actually changed them back. What I want to talk about is how important these habits are. Because in our classrooms, we try to develop habits. And a lot of the time, we're going to start with the simple ones like putting your hand up to say, I've got to answer a question, or can I please go to the toilet? But we also do some other great habits as well, like this one. You see, it's ingrained already, isn't it? But we need to talk about the bigger habits that we need to start developing. And all across the planet, we're trying to develop a whole set of habits, habits that are so comfortable, so ingrained, that as soon as we go back to them, they're natural, just like folding your arms. That's how natural these habits have to be. In New Zealand, we have our key competencies. These are the habits that we're trying to ingrain right the way through, all of our classes, from kindergarten to university. In Australia, it's the general capabilities. In the States, ISTE's come up with NETS. The same sets of habits are being repeated time and time again. IB is launching next year in 2015, approaches to teaching and learning in the diploma program, and would you believe it's the same sets of skills coming through? We have thinking skills, social skills, research skills, self-management and communication skills. All of these we're trying to embed. We're trying to lock in. And there's a number of reasons why we want to do this. But probably the most profound reason for that comes from the research of Torkel Klingberg. Unfortunately named, but an amazing guy. In his book, The Overflowing Brain, he's come up with this based on 40 years of research out of Harvard University. If you can teach a teen by the teenage years, a structured problem-solving process, you can permanently increase their IQ by 10%. IQ, 10%. Is that absolutely amazing? It is a stunning piece of research, and it starts to support why all of these countries, all the organizations are coming through and building all of these habits with our kids, so they are natural as folding your arms. And I have a question to finish off with for you, ladies and gentlemen. What are you doing in your schools? What are you doing in your classrooms to build these habits? Thank you very much.